Hello friends and welcome to another video from my series Quick Thoughts On, in which I talk about different stories from the Star Trek universe. It's Monday, which means this video will be about the latest episode of Star Trek Discovery. It will be short and relatively spoiler free. The episode which was shown on CBS All Access yesterday and in the rest of the world on Netflix today is episode number 13 and its title is What's Past is Prologue. And right from the beginning I have to say that I enjoyed this episode much, much more than the previous one. In the previous episode basically nothing happened until the twist at the end. This story doesn't suffer from the same problems. There have been three great rumors about the show, that Ash Tyler is actually the Klingon Vok, that Captain Lorca is evil because he's from the Mirror Universe, and that actually the whole series takes place in the Mirror Universe and they will get later to Outer Universe. Now, just two weeks away from the season finale, I think I can say that the first two rumors are true. I would really hope that uh, the third one is also true, because it would explain 99% of the problems I have with the show. But it looks like this series indeed takes place in quote-unquote outer universe, which is pretty sad considering that this should take place in the same time as the story from The Cage. The good thing is that this is the last episode in which the Discovery crew is trapped in the Mirror Universe, but the bad thing is that we return to the Klingon War. I was so happy when the war plot ended, but no, we have to continue it. Well, at least there is a small twist at the end, which I don't want to spoil for the people who haven't seen it yet and plan to do so. This is Discovery, so as usually... Another one bites the dust, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to tell you who, but you probably expected it anyway. I want to talk for a moment about Michelle Yeoh. I thought that she and the guy who plays Stamets are the two worst actors which ever appeared on Star Trek. The guy is still on the show and he still sucks and Michelle is for some reason back on the show and even she still sucks. And please note that when I say they suck I am saying that only about their performances in Discovery because I haven't seen them anywhere else. So maybe they have a huge career outside Discovery and deliver fantastic fantastic performances there, I have no clue. The last American TV show I've watched before Discovery was Enterprise, which ended in 2005, so I have basically no clue who is in right now. The same goes for American movies, the only movies I have seen during the last decade or so were the Star Wars movies and Marvel movies, and of course the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies. But if I understand it correctly, Michelle Yeoh is a star of of some martial arts movies, right? I didn't really understand why she was cast as a Starfleet captain, but after seeing her in today's episode I finally start to understand that. No, she still sucks in any of the scenes where she should express any emotions or, well, speak, but she was really great in a huge action scene. She was really great when she was fighting her enemies in a person-to-person -person combat. There were two huge deaths and tons of small deaths, and the small deaths looked like they were taken from some 1980s video game. I'm sorry, but those death scenes just look funny, which completely destroys the seriousness of the whole sequence. Now, did you know that there are actual people on the bridge of the Discovery? We have seen their faces in the previous episodes, and this time we heard some of them actually speak. And we also heard their names, which is great. One of the many problems I have with Discovery is the concept of having the show centered around Burnham. She just isn't interesting enough to carry the whole show on her own. Just look at the original series. It started with everything centered around Kirk, but with all respect to Bill Shatner, I love the guy, but he is also not capable of carrying the whole show on his own. The show became much better when the writers understood that the strength of the show is in the relationships between the bridge crew, mainly between Kirk, Spock and McCoy. Next Generation was from the beginning an ensemble show, just like the later shows. So why did the showrunners of Discovery decide to make this series all about Burnham? And since I started to compare it to the original series, after the first 13 episodes I 
knew everybody on the show. I knew their personalities, I knew the characters, and the most important thing is that I liked all of them. What do I know about the characters of Discovery after the first 13 episodes? Well, I know the names of some of them, but I don't know enough about anybody of them, and the worst thing of all, I like just two of the people who are still alive, and none of them is the main character. The last thing I want to say is a tiny little spoiler. They take the Empress to outer universe, which is so stupid that it doesn't even surprise me. There were many episodes in previous Star Trek series where a character from the Mirror Universe tried to get to outer universe, but thankfully those writers have always found a good reason why to keep everybody in the correct place. I mean, didn't they learn from Lorca? He was from the Mirror Universe and he managed to be a huge problem in the end. So yes, this episode was pretty exciting, some really great action, some plot points I haven't expected, so this show is still capable of surprising me, and also some bad stuff. But overall, on a scale from 0 to 10, where 0 is absolute garbage, 10 is a masterpiece, and 5 is average, I would give this episode 6 out of 10. It definitely deserves an above average rating. But as always, these were just my opinions, as always feel free to write your opinions down in the comment section. If you like this video hit that thumbs up button and if you have some free time feel free to watch any of the other videos on my channel. You should see some links on screen right now. The next video will be up maybe even tomorrow so thanks a lot for watching and see you very soon. Bye.